Hi, this is Exploring with Emma and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And today we're going to be showing you the remains of the asylum here in Thorpe St Andrews on the outskirts of Norwich. In the year 1812, building work commenced on the Norfolk County Asylum in Thorpe St Andrews, just to the east of the city of Norwich, and was one of the very first of its type to be built in Britain, being revolutionary for its time. And in 1814, the new county asylum which was intended specifically for poor lunatics, was ready to start receiving its first patients. Despite several extensions to the original site over the next 70 years, it soon became clear that a more substantial expansion was needed, which led to the construction of the Asylum Annex, built in 1881, on land to the north of the original site. So the remains of the building that you see here was originally part of an annex for the main asylum, which was built just to the south here. Um, built in about 1882, it would have originally accommodated about 250 people, which was far more than it was originally uh, built to accommodate. The extensive site of the annex, like the original site to the south, was built to a somewhat plain, simple and comparatively cheap construction, avoiding any forms of ornament to the buildings. The total cost came in, at the time, of just under £34,000 and was mainly staffed by a relatively modest number of attendants and nurses. In total, the two sites were able to accommodate some 700 inpatients. The asylum annex was said to have been like a go-between an asylum and a workhouse and would have housed males on one side and females on the other, with the administration block between the two, which you can still see here today. Most of the patients were evacuated to other institutions across the country during the outbreak of World War I, and the site was used by the military authorities as a war hospital for some time. For a few years after the war, the asylum became known as the Norfolk Mental Hospital, with the name again changing in 1923 to its present title, St Andrew's Hospital. Like many of the mental institutions around the country, this one was also closed down in the late 90s, uh, but continued to be used for some time for administration and offices until it was completely closed down in 2007, uh, when demolition began in 2013, which leaves us with just the administration block we see here today. In 1946, following the National Health Service Act, the hospital passed from county to central government control, and with improved therapies and medications, plus the change in perceptions of patient rights, questions began to be asked whether the psychiatric hospital was the most appropriate setting, and after the introduction of care in the community in the early 1980s, the hospital slowly went into decline, and eventually closed in the April of 1998. After closure, the original site to the south, which is Grade 2 listed, was sympathetically converted into housing. The annex site was put up for sale and for some time was partially used as offices. The vast array of buildings survived largely intact until 2013 when it was sold and all but the central section as well as the mortuary to the north remains. The future of the remains is uncertain, but due to its location and continuing deterioration of its internal rooms and structures, it seems unlikely a new purpose for this imposing building will be found anytime soon. So this was the abandoned asylum here in Thorpe St Andrews. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed our little look around. Yep, and we'll see you again next Friday. So. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.